February 14, 2013. Perspectives of Music Sound Notation. Just a few random notes on music notation and connections to the universe. If you think about it, outer space consists of a bunch of electromagnetic frequencies, which can be related to pitches or notes for sound. So why not connect some dots? I remember thinking right away with the music tempo or velocity of a song and how that's related to relativity of time. Tempo isn't a constant linear pace. If that were the case, we'd be losing quite a few gigs for conductors or band teachers. Not to mention, I'd be tired as heck if I still had to be buzzing whole notes on my trombone for eternity of time. Now time changes its tempo by either speeding up or slowing down. I suppose one could look at the time signature as just a way of measuring time. For instance, an Earth year varies from a Pluto year. A week versus a year differs. A Ramadan year or cycle of time varies from the Christian one. Instead of months, some people may go by moon cycles instead. 28 days versus 30 days or 31 days. And we do have a say as in how we measure or perceive the value of a time cycle or being in tone with the passing of time, for instance. When a band teacher starts conducting in halftime, some students will count in a fast 4-4 four, four time signature. Or perhaps a fast 3-4 time is counted in ones or thirds by counting three counts or the full 3-4 measure as one beat to every bar, one beat in a fast 3-4 time signature. It all varies or depends on how one seeks to understand it or get a feel for it. Ever notice how in the cold or winter time everything sounds louder? Perhaps that's our loud or forte volume dynamic for music. Perhaps in a thick forest that muffles the sound, the music becomes soft or muted. Even at night, the dynamics of the atmosphere decreases in volume, with exceptions of party places or cities, but guaranteed to happen in small towns filled with moms and dads who need to wake up early every day to start their jobs and tend to their offspring or places, uh, towns with retired people who would prefer to relax and wind down rather than party at raves, like they might have done when they were younger. <clears throat> towns tend to be more piano dynamic at night. The style of playing such as staccato could represent the weather or wind, woodwinds being cutthroat and choppy cold. Legato, the smoother style, could be just a peaceful, sunny day where everything feels calm and connected. Short, brief notes without the staccato accent, legato, light, uh, nimble, could rep represent sprinkles. Then a constant pouring rain with no thunder or just a continuous snowfall or rain can also be legato, like perhaps, um, marcato, I believe anyway, but I'm not an expert on music terms, is the playing style that's loud and accented, sort of like a storm, thunder, kind of accents, notes, or the key signature may resemble the spacing or space, but then again, it could represent the DNA information for an individual. After all, the songs are given a name, aren't they? As well as documentation of who the parent is, or the, composure, the composer. February 14, 2013, Perspectives on 